the box is back it can only mean one thing it's time for chris's craft challenge i have no idea what's in here as always but he has told me to think valentine's so let's lift the lid and see what chris has been picking out of my craft room today let's move that out of the way okay right let's see what we got so we've got some love heart um glitter pieces shaker pieces we've got a piece of miri oh we've got some pearl brads oh they'll be nice to add on we've got a strip of lace this is a clear lace sticker from uh, i think you can get these from timu actually we have a set of stamps with some gorgeous sentiments on we've got some nice papers we can fit those in uh, we've got some flowers and then he's been reading oh that's another sheet of paper there look we'll go with those ones and then these are from a valentine's pad that we had out on one of his other craft hauls on one of his other craft challenges so let's put that there think valentine's so oh i just don't know i mean the colors go really well to be fair they have that sort of like neutrally color to them um how do i get these all incorporated together that is the question mm -hmm. oh i really don't know normally i would use these as shaker pieces but what i might actually do is try and just stick those down as embellishments in place of like when I do my little half pearls. I can do something similar with these and stick these down. That's not a problem. It's just how do I incorporate as much of this as I can? Don't know if I'm going to be able to, I'm not, mm. so I've got sentiments in this already, so I might put that to one side. Um. Oh, I don't know. Oh. I might use that top there. It's that one or that one at the minute that I'm thinking about doing. And one of these is a backing paper, maybe this heart one. But then I might use some of these as ribbon strips as Like a decorative piece, maybe. I might go for a big card. Hmm. Let me get out. Oh, I think I'm going to do a five by seven. So let me get a five by seven card right out. I'm thinking maybe this. I might even do it as an extra layer. I might do that one for the whole piece. I might then bring this one in like so. And then, thinking to bring in a little bit of extra colour if I'm using that one. I might go for maybe the red, the pink, the pink. We'll go for the pink. And I might use the side one to go across like that. That in the top corner, maybe. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, I don't know. Oh, right. Let's just start cutting. So, let's get my cutter out. Oh, 
think I'm definitely going to go, if I'm going to use any of these ribbon strips, I'm going to use these pink ones with the light cupcakes on. So. Let's cut these out. This one. This one. And then I want this other one that goes across. Like so. I'm thinking of doing is maybe going down like that and then across to give me like this cross section with my topper then in the corner maybe and it gives me some room to do some decorating now if I remember rightly I think these are usually pretty decent five yeah they're pretty good they're pretty much bang on five by seven aren't they So I am going to do the whole base of the card in that design, but I want to cut this one down a bit. So I'm going to cut this down one notch under five, and that one is one notch under seven. There we go. Then I might just line that up there, maybe. Where's my other one gone? Oh no, it was there. We'll see. We'll see, there's every chance I'll change my mind. Um, if I go for this one, I think. I actually think this Love You to the Moon and Back would fit in better so we're gonna go for that one so let's cut this one that I want out I don't wanna cut this off first some of the mirror board actually as well i think i'm going to be able to incorporate a lot of this if i'm honest which is always good i'm going to map this onto this mirror as well so let me grab my atg that's our gorgeous topper matted this is the um silver rainbow mirror i absolutely love it look at these colors that's 
gorgeous matte. Move those bits to one side. Right, I think we are ready to start putting this together, I think. So... I'm just going to line this card blank. I did just go over slightly, so I'm just going to curl in that. It does rub off a lot, so if you ever go over with your ATG, you just rub it a little bit like that. And it's gone now, there's no stickiness. So let me take this one, line it up like so. Grab my scissors. going to trim this off. There we go, so we have our card base. And then I'm gonna bring this in, put this on there. There we go. So let me pop, I'm gonna use my ATG again for this one. Every time I do this style of card, I always forget to do this bit. I need to lay these on, don't I? So let's get these ATG'd up as well. I don't want too big of a border to be fair. This one put on, and then I know I don't need as much of this, so I'm not going to come quite as far. Now, before I stick this down onto my card, I can now trim 
these off. So they're now the right size to put onto my card. So. There we go. And that's going to go on there like so and I am going to lift that up with some foam tape so let me grab my phone use this one These little ones I always tend to put back on because they come in handy for my little pieces. Love you to the moon and well just says to the moon. There is that then. So I've got this little piece of lace lace sticker. I've got the two brads, I've got the flowers and these that I still really want to be able to add in and incorporate. Be nice there, maybe. I'm just thinking, thinking, thinking. thought about doing like a cluster there but I don't it would need it would look better if that was like sat higher because they're quite big flowers aren't they but I do really want to make sure I add one of those on a couple of flowers in either corner maybe with some of these just positioned nicely um, Just looking for my tweezers that have gone missing again. Why do tweezers always go places? Let me just pause the video a second while I try and find some tweezers to be able to stick those down. Right, I've got my tweezers, I've found them. Uh, it will just help me to put some of these on here. I think I'm going to go for that. I think I quite like that. Um, 
Not sure how I want to stick this one down, to be honest. wonder if I could maybe get that to snap off. down like that and then if I can do the same with this side as well why is it you can always do something on one side and not on the other there we go then I might put some foam tape in here it's okay I've got my um full bottle somewhere. There we go. This will do. Put some glue in there. Look. That glue will dry. Just want to make sure that this is stuck nicely on. There we go. That will dry nicely in place. Uh, plenty of glue on the back of these because I'm always worried about these falling off as well. And then I just want to put a couple of these little hearts on here. Don't need a lot of glue. Try and go for like all these nice pinky coloured ones just so that it kind of matches the look. I can even pick them up. Normally, I would use these as shake pieces, but I think these would actually work. Quite nice, just as little embellishments. Don't worry about any glue that comes out from underneath them. It will dry clear anyway. Is that purple one? 
Do you want me to bring your mountains? Oops. Escaping heart. Can't pick him up, look. And there we go. One beautiful Valentine's Day card, or certainly a love inspired card. I think that's pretty good. And I've used a lot of the elements that he's given me. I think the only thing I haven't done is used the stamped image. I've used something from at least certainly every bit. Oh, and this lace piece. I didn't find anywhere for the lace sticker. But I really like that. I think that's beautiful. It's going to take some time to dry because I just want to make sure that that's secure and the flowers are secure. That was a good challenge again. He is absolutely smashing it. He's doing so well. Um, and it's challenging me to try and think of what what to do too. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I know I keep getting lots of feedback and comments on it saying that he's doing really well as well. So I'm hoping it's inspiring you guys to get out things that maybe you don't use. Um, and if you've got anybody, I know I've said this before, but maybe it's your first time watching this. Maybe it's the first Christmas craft challenge you've watched. If you've got somebody who can, if you trust, <laughs> to raid your room, uh, then feel free to join in. So all Chris does, Chris is my partner. He has free run of my room on a Sunday. He gets the box and he's just asked to put things in and, f and whatever he wants me to work with. These are stuck to my fingers. Um, so he can tell me a card size, how many cards to make. He can give me no rules at all. The only rules that I have are I have to use the elements he gives me or at least as many of the elements as I can possibly do. I can add small things to it if I need to, like if I feel like it needs a sentiment or if I just think that there's something that will go that matches perfectly, then I can add little bits to it. But I, t I try not to, or I try to only add a very small thing. Today, the only thing I've added in is my adhesives, which is great. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know each and every time that we post a video. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week. Bye for now.